The former A would break onto the scene of hip hop thanks to his honest and biographical track Quicksand. The former A would receive co signs from the likes of J. Cole and even DaBaby as the next big thing in the world of rap. The former A would have over a quarter million followers on Instagram and over 186,000 subscribers on YouTube at the time of this recording. Late last year, Murray, he dropped a song Quicksand and just like that, he became your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Now, the single had appeared seemingly out of nowhere, but it quickly made its mark thanks in part to Murray's unique style of combining rap with soulful singing and his willingness to open up about the struggles and the triumphs of his youth. Of his youth? Of his youth. Sorry. In fact, this Fayetteville rapper has already drawn the attention of big leakers like J. Cole, who took to Instagram to let the world know how good Murray's new track was and that he was going places 100%. On the heels of that shout out came even further exposure when DaBaby took to social media to pay respect to his fellow North Carolina natives hit song. Now all of this love and support, it has taken Murray up by a bit of a surprise, but when you get to know him as a person, that humility, it fits his persona. After all, this is a man who told XXL that what he wants his music to represent for people is a positive influence. He told them, I may not be that big of a deal to everybody else, but I really want dudes to know you could smile in the hood. You ain't gotta kill everybody, you ain't gotta be gang banging. I hate that shit. I hate that the hood is seen as this grimy evil place. No, we have barbecues, cookouts, basketball tournaments. It's fun in the hood sometimes. What's going on guys? It's your boy Michael McCredden back at it again with a brand new video. This time taking a look at the recent come up of rapper Murray. Prior to fame, here of you of course are before they're famous. Now you may be wondering why I'm wearing this. I've got no real excuse except for Conor McGregor's fighting. And I thought these colors, ah, what the hell? It's COVID, I'm basically filming these videos by myself. Just you and me. So who the hell's gonna stop me? Anyways, guys, you requested this over on our Instagram before they are famous. I'm a big fan of Quicksand, so we thought we'd get her done. And uh, we're going to send this to Murray, and hopefully he can give us more info. Then we'll give you guys an update in like a couple weeks, months. I don't know. All right, let's get into this video. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom. Hey, Miss Jones. Mm-hmm. Um, Mason, talk to my son because, um, he needs a job. I just told him that last week when we had that one discussion. All right, Miss Jones, you have a good day. Murray was born Murray Ruffin in Fayetteville, North Carolina in 1992. Now, after blowing up these past few months, well, he's made a name for himself as a rapper who can sing, and he comes by that talent naturally as he spent a lot of time working on his craft as a youngster, singing for his local church choir, which heavily influenced his melodic and unique style. When he wasn't singing the good news of the Lord, while well, he was listening to acts like Drake, Mo, and Usher, falling in love with the smooth sounds of R&B. But as influential as those artists and his time spent singing in the church were, well, they both paled in comparison to what Murray learned on the streets of Fayetteville. Now, he tells us in his song Dreamland that as a kid, well, he never had much of anything when it came time for Christmas, and even his birthday, well, he knew better than to expect any gifts. With the desire to want more out of life, it led him to try and make a living off of the streets. And we would commit crimes like breaking and entering just to get enough money to live on, but because he had to share that cut with his crew, well, that didn't leave him with much money for himself after all that hard work. And when he was 13 years old, he was arrested for the first time, and that event is probably what led him to looking out for, like, well, more out of life. But as difficult as it was on the streets, well, it was just as difficult at home for Murray. And he raps about living in and out of basements as a kid and having to spend time living in a motel because his mother, well, she couldn't make enough to provide for her family. After Murray's father, well, he left them for another woman. Whenever his mother would manage to save up something, well, Murray recalls his dad coming around just to take it from her. And if she spoke out against him, well, he would just beat her, which instilled Murray with a great hate for his father, something he still carries with him to this very day. Now, in order to combat all this negativity in his life, well, Murray, he turned to his passion for music. Now, when he reached his early 20s, he began recording music at a friend's house, but he really wasn't a fan of what he was producing. Seeing the kind of flashy style that's currently popular in hip hop, well, he did his best to emulate it, but felt that what he was creating, it lacked substance and didn't feel genuine. It wasn't true to who he was. Then one night early last year, well, everything changed for Murray. Now, he played a few of his more recent recordings for his wife, who told him that while she liked the tracks, well, they didn't remind her of who he was as a person either. 
that they didn't speak of his life in Fayetteville or the things he's learned through life experiences. Murray took his wife's criticism to heart and wrote next what would become his breakthrough single. Of course, I'm talking about Quicksand. Now on that track, Murray, he raps about his come up on the street, surviving as best as he could while growing up poor, and having to deal with his friends teasing him for having a desire to do things as anti-streets, like baking. For real. When the track was released in October of 2020, well, fans, they immediately felt a connection to its honesty, and Murray, he told Double XL, I think because when I wrote the song, I really was just telling a story, and the story is so relatable. When you got a story that everybody feel like, oh, I had them kind of close, or I made this bad decision, or I really was going through this, you have something that resonates with somebody's heart. I, I, I like this guy, he's so down to earth. Before he knew it, Murray was being contacted by manager Mo Shalazi, who felt that Murray had something special with his track, and his belief in what Murray was doing further spurred the artist into throwing his all into his music. The big time artists like J. Cole and DaBaby, they jumped on board, and suddenly Murray, well, he was riding a wave of acceptance and success. The likes of which, well, he had never experienced before. Now, all of this exposure, it helped push the numbers on his track to exponential levels. As of right now, the Quicksand music video on YouTube, it's got over 14 million views, and his streams on Spotify are north of 8 million. But as amazing as those numbers are, well, we should realize now that Murray, he likes to keep things humble. In fact, he cites the moment he first got to only 100,000 views as the moment that changed his life. He told Double XL, The biggest moment I can say in my first 100,000 views. I ain't gonna lie to you, a million is dope, but when I first got the 100,000, it hit me. Like, oh sh**, I may actually have something because you don't get 100,000 views in my HUD. Most of them get 20,000, if that. After being picked up by a manager, Murray, he signed to pick six records and he found even more exposure after Jay-Z added Quicksand to his 2020 vision, COVID-19 playlist on Tidal. Now Murray would then go on to drop three more tracks over the past few months, Switched Up, Low Key, and Dreamland, all of which are seeing major success on YouTube with over a million views each. In terms of where he sees his future taking him, well, after starring in a short film a couple of years ago called Something's Gotta Give, well, Murray has set his sights on Hollywood, practicing the craft of writing screenplays and creating characters. Now he hopes to one day act more, and he dreams of being more than just a rapper or a musician in his never-ending quest to keep his ever-growing legion of fans entertained. What? What? What's up? What's up? What's up? Who, who is this, yo? As for the rest of the story, well, I think we're just gonna wrap this one up here because this, of course, is before they were famous. My name's Mike McCrad, and I'm dressed like a big old Irish leprechaun. I hope you don't mind. I turned off the heat in here because, what the hell, it's just me. And you know, the bills are getting up there. So, what are you gonna do? Anyways, if you wanna support the channel, be sure to hit subscribe. You can follow us over on Instagram, at Before They Are Famous, or there's a news page, McCrud and M. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna see more videos that you'll be interested, click right here. Check out the playlist over here, and don't forget to subscribe.